Luke here with catsandcarp.com, and we're catching catfish with corn. What I'm using to catch these catfish is boiled feed corn. This is the corn that you get at the feed stores or hunting stores. This is stuff you use to feed cattle or deer. It's a thick grain kernel, um, really big beefy kernel that's different than sweet corn. It's super cheap. It's about $10, $12 for a 50 pound bag of dried corn, which makes somewhere around 200 pounds of wet bait. So this is one of the cheapest baits you can buy. Dried feed corn starts out as a shriveled up kernel and then you soak it overnight and then you boil it to get it soft enough for fish to eat. They come in these 50 pound bags and you just get yourself a big brass pot or a big pot, you know, I'll fill it up and you want to soak the kernels overnight, just like if you were making beans or something like that. You soak it for anywhere from 6 to 24 hours. Um, I just leave it soaking in my driveway. And uh, you can see here I filled the pot up about a third full with corn and all the way full with water. And then the next day I, I come up and I start boiling this sucker. And I'll use a propane burner on my barbecue, but you, you can kind of do whatever and uh, boil it for several hours. A big pot like this will take maybe three hours of boiling. And uh, when you're done, the kernels plump up uh, and they'll, some of them will start to explode like popcorn. And they get really soft and big. And you know that it's done when you can and crush a kernel between your fingers without too much effort. That's, that's when it's done. And uh, you want it to be boiled like this because it's a, a softer, I think a little bit more desirable bait, but also it won't expand in the fish's stomach. So anyway, let's get to the fun part here, man. Let's show you how I fish with feed corn. So this is kind of a typical trip. I've got my uh, bite alarms here. These are Delcom TXI Plus bite alarms. They're a carp fishing bite alarm. Real high end, nice alarm. Uh, I love fishing with these. I know everyone says, oh, I, what, you, why do you need an alarm? You can just use bells or just watch your rod tips. Sure, but these allow me to go and fish spread out so I can put my rods far apart and also I can watch Tommy and play with him while I'm fishing. So that's two big advantages. When you're fishing with feed corn, a great thing is you can chum with it. So I'll, as soon as I get into a spot, I'll throw in, oh, probably four or five handfuls of corn wherever I'm going to be fishing. And I'm fishing pretty close to shore here, which is, is not a bad place. And chuck that out there, and that fish will come in and start gobbling that up. So here on a basic um, fish finder rig, I've got, uh, I think, a two-aught circle hook. Just put some kernels on the hook. That works just fine. But I want to show you my favorite way to fish feed corn. So get a bucket here. I'm going to dump in some instant oatmeal and some instant mashed potatoes from Walmart. And just, you know, the real cheap stuff here. Um, kind of uh, one part oatmeal, one part art, uh, mashed potatoes. Dump some of the water and kernels from the corn in there and get it till the consistency is like Play-Doh. And uh, mix it all up and you'll make this awesome dough bait. Uh, catfish love potatoes, they love corn, they love oatmeal. These are all things that they really dig. Should pack into a good ball. Then you get a special kind of rig uh, called a method lead and a hair rig. The method lead is just an inline lead with these ribs on it that are designed to hold bait. And the hair rig is basically a little J-hook with this piece of string with a loop on the end of the string. You take some kernels of corn, or you can even use fake rubber corn, and you string it onto the hair, and then put a little thing called a bait stop to keep it from coming off, and there you got a hair rig. Then with this inline method lead, what you do is you take a ball of this dough bait, and you squish it on onto the method lead, and it uh, makes this great little ball of bait that'll break down in the water. And then you shove your hook bait right there on the top. So that's the first thing the fish run into. And that ball of bait will draw them in and get their attention. And then they'll suck up that little kernels, those couple kernels of corn. Bam, you got them. It's a great rig. And because I'm using a hair rig, I never gut hook the fish. I just never gut hooks them. Uh, the rod and reel I'm using is a little unique here. I've got a Daiwa Regal BRI bite and run reel. It's a 3500 series. I've got braid and mono on, on some of my reels. It's a bite and run reel, which is great because it has two drag systems on it. One for when the rod is in the rod holder, you put it down like that, and it's a very loose drag. And the other is when you're fighting the fish. It's a tight drag. The rod I'm using is a six foot medium action rod. It's made by 
my company called Chubb. It's called the Outcast Stalker Rod. It's a British carp fishing rod, but really you could use a medium action bass fishing rod or like an ugly stick GX2 would be a great uh, um, alternative. But throw on one of these bite and run reels and it's an awesome bank fishing setup. Okay, enough talking. Let me show you the bait in action here. So real quick trip, me and Tommy only had like an hour or two to fish. Um, so this is really typical, just kind of a local local spot here. I turn on my bite alarms, you get a up close view of them there. And I flip the switch to put on the loose drag so a fish can't pull my rod into the water. And then I turn on my wireless remote. Yep, that's right. I've got a wireless, kind of like a pager that tells me when I get a bite. And there's these little lights on the top that tell me which rod got the bite. I just clip that receiver in my pocket and go play with my son. Oh, Tommy, hear that? Yeah. You got a little fish bite. <laughs> oh, it's a fish on, fish on. It's a catfish. All right, there's one. Now, catfish love all types of grain, so here's another great way to kind of chum a spot. If you're gonna be fishing in the same spot day after day, throwing that free bait in the water will build the spot up and get more and more catfish in your spot, make it better and better. So one of the things I like to do is for like 11 bucks, go buy one of these poultry grain blocks from the feed store, chuck it into your spot, sinks to the bottom and it breaks down slowly uh, releasing little bits of grain you can see the little bubbles coming off there and that'll be a big pile of chum there and when you come back the next day your spot will be crawling with catfish and carp this is a great technique for catching both species of fish anyway thanks for watching hopefully you learned something new if you want a great cheap bait that'll bring the catfish in and also catch you some great carp try boiled feed corn it's especially good if you have a local spot that you fish consistently. You can throw that chum in there and build that spot up over time. The fish will get used to coming in and it just gets better and better and better the more consistently you use corn. At any rate, thanks for watching and if you like this video, check out some other great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.